Hey guys, it's Dylan here, and today I'm going to be talking about radical feminism. I know, something I've been talking about and thinking about for a while now, I actually want to go like deep into, because it's something that I myself find to be very stupid. But, let me make a quick disclaimer, I do not hate feminism. Feminism itself is not a bad thing. Equality among genders, all genders, is a very good idea. There should be equality. Equality is fucking key, and the fact that we haven't, as a species, mastered it is retarded. What I don't like is radical feminism, and I'll bring you right into my first point. Mansplaining, manspreading, you know, this active fucking hatred of men. The, the, the idea that all of us are misogynistic pieces of shit. I hate it. I, I fucking hate it. Because this whole mansplaining thing, okay, it's kind of like the excessive uh, thing of like, the act of excessively explaining everything to a woman as if you're talking down to them. Even though it's kind of stupid, I mean, mansplaining, women do it too, like it's not just us. You don't get a wiener and automatically, oh, gotta, gotta fucking undermine women, Got, gotta just over explain them to everything to them. Can't give them a chance. No, no. You don't just get a dick and all of a sudden, whoops, now I'm an asshole. That's not how it works, okay? If a per if a guy over explains shit, it's annoying. And I do it too. And I don't like it when other people do it. And it makes me seem hi kind of hy hypocritical, which is a problem I myself deal with and actively try to stop myself from being because I don't like hypocrites. So I try to solve that within myself as well. It's dumb. It's dumb when women do it. It's dumb when men do it. it. It's dumb across the board. It doesn't need to be given a gender. You don't need to give a gender to something annoying that a bunch of people do, okay? It, it does not need a gender or, like, a gender stereotype. It's just stupid. Adding a gender stereotype to it is only adding more issues to the whole gender equality thing. Moving on, man spreading. When a guy has his legs excessively out, like, spread open, especially in a place that's public. Now, I've watched many videos about, about people covering this topic, including, but, uh, shit. Not limiting to, um, what, 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 what were some of the, uh, things? I've seen videos from BuzzFeed, I've seen... I think videos from YouTube, you know, I don't actively look it up, it's just kind of something that ends up in my recommended, I'm like, oh, okay, like, alright, um, and honestly, I'm just sitting here like, what the fuck, who cares, like, it's not even accurate what they do in these videos either, like, they're not out here doing the same action as men. They're, they're doing this fucking, like, over-the-top, like, your legs out are as far as your body can possibly stretch them. And I just don't get it. It's stupid. It really is. It is stupid. Because guys don't do that. And any guy who does do that is being an asshole. What? No, Sorry for that. As I was saying, they put their legs out as far as they possibly can do, and no man ever does that, unless they're trying to be an ass or joking around with their friends, which is something I've seen before and doesn't surprise me. The way that feminists seem to view it as is that we're doing it on purpose, we're trying to do it at all times, and it's always, like, the most over- like, exaggerated-ass way. Like, I've never seen a man keep his legs, or boy, because, you know, I'm a fucking teenage kid. I Not once have I ever seen someone actually do that who wasn't a radical feminist who hates men. Now, I've seen the claims that they don't hate all men. They just hate most men. They hate, they hate most men because most men are bad, evil, the big evil men. And it's just... I, d I just do not get it. I'm sure there's other stereotypes, too. Like, I know that they'll be like, Oh, all men deserve to die. All men deserve to go to hell. Or, or some 
bullshit like that. And honestly, it's annoying. I watched one video that's fairly old now, but... Well, I, I assume, so it might not be actually up. Well, there were no masks in the video, so I'm gonna go ahead and assume that it is, like, at least a few years old. Um, where this dude was getting interviewed by the news, and a woman, like a feminist, I'm guessing a radical feminist, because I can't imagine that a respectable, like a self-respecting actual feminist would do the bullshit this chick pulled, asked, got all pissed at him, and walked up to the guy who got interviewed and was like, what's your name? And he said, uh, what was it? Humongous. Like, he pulled, like, the dumbest ass joke of all time, right? And she gets genuinely mad! Like, genuinely pissed the fuck off. And I just don't get why. Like, for, like, she think, she seemed to think that he was sexually harassing her. He said humongous. He didn't say your breasts were fucking nice or some bullshit. He didn't just reach out and just... Mm, fucking grab a handful, okay? He said his name was Humongous and then tried to walk away. He 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 didn't need to be there. But no, she screams, He sexually assaulted me! He sexually assaulted me! No, he didn't. That was never the intention, I can almost guarantee that. And this shit is just stupid. The hatred, the, the wish for, like, not equality, but just being better, higher. They, they don't want to be equal, they want to be higher. Like, kind of like a gods. They, they, they want to be goddesses. That's what they want. And while I can understand wanting to be higher up in society than you've no, than you're, you know, usually supposed to, not really supposed to, but have been given, I can understand that, wanting to work for that thing that you really didn't get to have. I can I can understand it. I can support wanting equality. But I do not support the idea that you have to flip like this fucking sexist way to look at things. And they th it's like they think they can't be sexist against men. It's it's the same bullshit time and time again. It's the same bullshit used in in racism where people are like, "Oh, you can't be racist against whites because they're not oppressed. That's not how racism works. That's not how it works. Being racist is discriminating and, like, actively vote going against a person of a different skin color, ethnicity, etc. Because you do not like that other skin color or ethnicity. That's racism. There is no oppressed there there is no rule that only the people who have been oppressed can be hated for their race Th that is not a rule no one no one was like ah oh, yes and in the 13th passage of the bible only whites cannot be discriminated against all other races can be but whites no sir no and as much as i like to clown on you know the bible because it's retarded in itself, and I'll probably talk about that at some b different point. It's, it was, no one, like, nowhere was it written as a rule that only whites can be racist. No one else, just whites. And that if you're racist against whites, well, you're a fucking noble, co you're fighting the good fight. Keep fighting the noble cause. Like, Why? Where did this messed up ideology that, as long as you're being racist against a white person, it's okay, where did this come from? Who started this? Why? Why is this a accepted part of certain people's lives? I don't get it. Racism is stupid. Sexism is stupid. The fact that guys have more power than women in, like, in society is stupid. But the fact that radical feminists constantly fight, like actively fight, to not make things equal, but to like fucking 
be the higher part doesn't fix anything. Because they also like to push that, like, they also seem to, they, they commonly will go after people for crying. Like, if a guy starts whining about shit or complaining, they'll go all out on them, like, all the time. You know, like, you're not a woman, you're, you don't get to complain, you're, you're not oppressed. But then when men show no, no, like, when they don't show any emotion in how they act, well, apparently that's the, that's the sin that'll bring you into the ninth circle of hell, too, because, whoopsie daisies, now you're getting hated on, again, for a different reason. And I just don't understand, why do they want, why do they want a matriarchy? Why, why is this something that they want? Shouldn't the goal be to fix all this, like, all the stuff that makes, like, gender, like, inequalities happen? Shouldn't, shouldn't that be something we're pushing against? Why is it something that's being normalized? Why, why is this becoming a thing? I do not understand it. My views on sexism and racism are actually fairly similar, in the fact that being racist or sexist against the party that has in past in the past been sexist and racist does not fix the problem. As I've said with people who have been abused by sexual predators in their past who have fucked up shit going through their head because of it, you are not you are the victim until you become the perpetrator. You are the victim until you start doing these things yourself. So if you actively start being racist and sexist against whites and males, then you are no better than the people who are sexist and racist to you. You're flipping the coin. You're not making, you're not, you're not putting it on its side and making everyone equal. You're not evening the line. You're just tilting the balance. That should not be the goal. It should never be the goal. Tilting the scale so that you have the power, tilting the balance should never be the goal. I'm not saying things need to stay as they are. In fact, they need to change. Because as much as it sounds like I really hate feminism as a whole, I want to make it clear I do not hate feminism as it is feminism. Feminism, feminism as itself the wish for equality among genders, the same rights, the same abilities, the same look in the eyes of society, that is something that I do agree with. I, myself, would like most gender norms to go away. I really would. Okay? I, I would. I feel like the idea of allowing a woman to be what has been considered manly and allowing a guy to be girly, are things that should be allowed, not frowned upon in society. I myself, in real life and on the internet, usually am a fairly girly person. I'm gay. I like to dress like a girl. I do not wear guys' clothes anymore. I just don't do it. So, I do kind of, on a level, understand and support and 100% support equality. But I'm not fighting equality here. I'm fighting the desire to switch switch a hierarchy which should never have been in place in the first place. It's being normalized for radical feminists to just straight up hate men, and it's stupid. And men share their part of the blame here, because many, many men like to fight radical feminism by being an asshole to them, or being, or, or enforcing the stereotypes that they themselves say they want to get rid of. Enforcing the stereotype of, oh, we hate women, oh, like, you know, enforcing these stereotypes, which honestly, 
needn't exist in the first place. And we do share part of the blame on that. I have watched videos from one of my favorite content creators, Combat Wombat, especially one where he was responding to a video from Pig Puncher, who was responding to a video of Combat Wombats. Now, I don't agree with Combat Wombat on everything he says, okay? I do believe um, that, you know, non-binary people can be non-binary. I can, I'm willing to believe and, and support non-binary people. If they don't feel like they fit into the male or female gender, then they deserve to not be considered female or male to me. However, I do not think that non-binary is a gender, because to me it's not. It is the lack of a gender. And personally, I like I would like to support all non-binary people and give them my props because well, it takes a lot of guts to admit that you are pretty much ahead of your time, in the sense that you, 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 you don't get to be happy all the way when it comes to that, and for that I actually feel quite bad. I have the luxury of wanting to be male or female. Am I sure which one I want to be? No, not at all. But I have the luxury of knowing I want to be one of them, which is something non-binary people don't get to have. Now, I'll probably, assuming anyone ever even watches this, I might get accused of some, like, fucking shit, uh, maybe ad hominem, or is that, isn't that the one where you, like, s like, steer off, or, no, you, you insult someone, and, ins you insult someone's, uh, point, re and them entirely, rather than address the point, and then just keep moving on, but, okay. I don't hate radical feminists. In fact, I pride myself on not hating anyone. I don't like hating people. People who have wronged me, hurt me, the man who molested me, I do not hate any of them. I can't. I still love a lot of the people who have hurt me. I am no perfect person because no person is perfect. Our species of as humanity honestly sucks ass and needs to go the way of the dodo. But for the time being, we have to be here and so does our and our planet has to deal with us being here. And the fact that we can't just fucking get along. Right? Like someone has to wake up in the morning and say I hate men. Some man has to wake up in the morning and say I hate women. It's stupid, and it needs to fucking stop. Why can't we all just wake up and be like, Hello, I'm having a good day. How are you? Or, yeah, if you're not having a good day, you could just, I don't know, not be a prick. You don't have to be an asshole to someone because your day is bad, and yes, I know I can be seen as a hypocrite because I'm, I'm generally known to be an asshole. Especially if my day is going poorly. And it's something I actively would like to squash in due time, if I can. So, I'm, I'm not trying to say I'm perfect. But, I would like people to just understand that radical feminism isn't the answer and hating each other isn't the answer. The answer, honestly, is to work together to try to spread the message that everyone deserves to be loved. Everyone deserves happiness. Anyone who says that other people don't deserve happiness are dumb. And I can't stand the, the ideology of others not deserving happiness. Like, my ex-boyfriend treated me horribly. Okay? He treated me horribly. I love him to death, but he treated me horribly. I forgive his actions. And I don't wish for him to be upset. 
in no way do I wish for his happiness to subside because he hurt me or because I still love him. No. Because that's not a fair thing for me to want, say, do. That, that wouldn't be fair in any way or any sense of the word. It's words. Why? Well, I, I hate radical feminism because it... It just pushes that men are men bad, women good. When in reality, we should be able to get over our dumb shit. Yes, men have done a lot of fucked up shit. Whites have done a lot of fucked up shit. Everyone has done some fucked up shit. Nobody's perfect. Nobody's, like, free from scrutiny. Nobody should be. We as a species should be able to point out the dumb shit we've done and be like, yeah, that was pretty stupid. Let's not do that again. But instead, if you're caught criticizing anyone who is considered to be a minority, you're labeled a racist, a sexist, a misogynist. I myself am under the belief that you can joke about anything. If I don't like what you joked about, I'm, I might not laugh. I might ask you not to do it in my presence, but if it's a funny joke, it's a funny joke. If you make a pedophile joke, and if it's funny, I believe you should be allowed to make that joke. If you make a rapist joke, I feel like you should be able to make that joke. Even if it isn't funny, I feel like you should be able to make the joke just for the fact that you have the right to make the joke. If you don't like it, Maybe ask them not to bring it up in your company. Maybe something like that. There are much more constructive ways to do it than to hate people for it or to demonize other people. As I've said, I, have, I am guilty of some of this in my past. I have demonized, or I guess since I'm an, I'm an agnostic, um, not, I guess demonized works actually pretty much demonized other viewpoints and beliefs and even religion as a whole because I myself do not like it or believe in it. And that was very hypocritical of me. And for that, I do apologize to anyone I've ever done it to. But, I mean, the fact that a woman can sue another, a man, for rape because he tried to save her underwater and succeeded mind you is stupid the fact that that could even be attempted and the fact that some people actually backed her up on it it's stupid it is just straight up retarded and no i am not going against people who have a mental issue because honestly you should not be hated on for that never you shouldn't be hated for the way you were born. You get no choice in how you are born. If you're born black, you didn't get a choice. If you're born white, you didn't get a choice. If you were born into a Muslim family, if you were born into a Christian family, you don't you shouldn't be scrutinized because you were born into that family. You had no more choice in it than anyone else straight people should not hate gays or lesbians or pansexuals or bisexuals for the way they feel about other genders and the same gender because they had no more choice in it than the straight people who demonize them it's dumb and I know I'm I might get called stupid or or I don't know like uh, called out on the fact that I'm only 15 so I don't know jack shit I know what I've seen I know children are often scrutinized and pretty much told that oh your, your point has no merit because well you're a child and alright I mean the fact that I'm a child should have no bearing on this honestly because a child who sees what you see has not seen something else. If a child such as myself can understand what they're seeing and understand 
that hating others for their gender, religion, race is stupid, you shouldn't scrutinize that child because they see that. It's honestly a dumb thing to do. I'm sure that I'm going to forget some things here, and, and I'm sure I'm going to leave some shit out, and I'm going to get called out on it. But honestly, I just have such strong disinterest, and I dis I dislike the views that people who are fe radical feminists view. I just, I don't like it. If they were aiming for equality, I could side with that. I could get behind that. But aiming to oppress someone else isn't good. Like, I see a lot of people who dislike the way communism or, you know, and all this shit works with money, and I can understand why people dislike it, you know, because... Because money does actually cause some problems in society. It does have negative influences on people, and people as a whole are naturally going to be selfish assholes. I know I am at times. I know my friends are. I know the per who are you watching this have been a selfish asshole at one point in your life. You cannot deny it unless you're a literal fetus. At some point, you've been a selfish asshole to someone. We've all done it. You don't need to hide from it. And honestly, there shouldn't be a problem with that. You don't choose... Assuming that you actually know that it's an asshole move and work to try to not do it again, then why hate the person for doing it? Maybe be a little mad at him, you know? But either way, money can cause issues. It has caused issues, major issues in society amongst people, it's caused big problems, and I can understand that. But I also don't like the mentality of, burn the rich, and all that. Now, I know this is going to be probably an unpopular opinion, but I just don't think it's an intelligent way to look at things. A rich man who earned his value, a rich woman who earned her money, who earned what she has, what he has, she or he has, shouldn't be despised for having what they have. This radical feminist uh, looking at things uh, honestly applies to all major issues these days, uh, with a few exceptions. The main ones, the main things it really does tie into is racism, like sexism, all this. It does tie into that because it's basically the same logic. I, it's the same, I hate you because you've been a dick to, your ancestors, or the, you've been a dick to me. I hate what you, I hate you for what you look like, but you don't get to hate me for what you, I look like. When, honestly, you shouldn't hate them, they shouldn't hate you. If you're gonna hate someone, which personally I don't approve of in the first place, your reasoning shouldn't be that they hate hated you or that they dislike you. The amount of people who hate me here for being, quote-unquote, a queer faggot, all that shit, I don't care. I don't hate them for it. I don't hate Trump supporters for supporting Trump. I don't support... I don't hate racist people for being racist. I don't particularly like their viewpoint, but to hate someone for their own ways of looking at things is just stupid. You don't have to agree, but you don't have to hate someone for it. And that's what my problem is. Not that you disagree, but because you treat other people harshly and then get upset when they make the same choice. When they make that same choice to be an ass. Because why not? Why not be an asshole to someone who's been an asshole to you? It's a dumb way of looking at things on both ends, and it needs to fucking stop. If I, if I come up with some other reasons and I've forgotten something, which I often do when I record a video, I'll forget something, then there will be a sequel, a part two to this. I hope you guys know I do love equality. I love 
I love the idea of our species as a whole. Blacks, whites, Indians, natives, I don't, I don't know, Chi Chinese, Japanese, everyone banding together and just getting rid of this dumb ass shit. It just, I love the idea. It would be great if transgender people would stop getting hate. It would be great if straight people would stop getting hate. It would be great if white cisgender males didn't get hate. And it would be great if a black trans woman wouldn't get hate. Just because someone's the opposite of you does not mean that they need to be hated. With humans, there is the idea, idea of fearing or hating what you do not understand. I'm guilty of it in my own way, but it's actually against, you know, a AI intelligence, robots, etc. Because, Jesus, I'm fucking terrified of that bullshit. And that's on me. I need to learn to be accepting of that in the event that it actually does come and happen. Because there's no point in not being accepting or nice or helpful. There's no point. And I hope in time I get past my own... Hate, like scaredness of others or hatred of well not really hatred but mainly fear and disdain for say aliens and AI because in the end no one deserves to be hated I just want to wake up one day and not have my friends my family People I don't even know to be getting hated on. I would like it for people to stop hating cops. For, like, hating all cops because some cops make bad choices. And I would like it for cops to make stop making those bad choices. I would like it if everyone can just get some common sense, dude. Like, that's all it is. Common fucking sense. As a 15-year-old, I may be... One of the last people who should, in the public views, be talking about common fucking sense because a lot of us are stupid. I know I do a lot of dumb shit. And I know that I myself should cut some of them out. And I know that someday I will cut out my dumb ass actions. But there are full on adults who hate each other because they're different. It's dumb. And they influence their children to be the same. And people who become or are oppressed teach their children to hate the oppressor, which leads to only more hate and oppression. If you truly want to end all of it, you can't be helping it. You can't be enforcing it by forcing the opposite view. Because that does nothing but further the problems. Further the problems that you and everyone else have fought so hard to get rid of. Thank you for watching the video, guys. As I said, if I, if I come up with any extras, I will make a sequel to this. Um, I'm sure I've forgotten other things, and... There's always more topics to talk about. And these are things that actually bother the fuck out of me. Mainly with the dumb ways people handle and view things. It's just not something I personally agree with. So yes, thank you so much for watching, guys. I hope you have a good day. And peace.